Hello everybody, welcome back. We're going to be looking at some advanced collisions here, dealing with very annoying geometry or objects that are just a huge pain to use as a collider. And I will give you some pro tips on how to deal with them. Unfortunately, I will not be sharing this file and I will not go through the whole setup. Uh, I might do it in, uh, in our up and coming workshop but for this tutorial i just want to give you an overview and some tips on how to deal with uh, collisions that are just the worst like this so you can see this is hollow has a bunch of elements sticking around it just this is a nightmare for collisions so what you can do is when you have this object you can just create a grid and ray everything on top like this blast the ray hit group and you will get this which is a much more simplified version of the collider plus it doesn't have any holes well it has some holes here but that's fine we're gonna poly extrude it to get some volume reverse the normals uh, and that's pretty much it then we can peak it just a bit and you can start converting it into polygons here I'm literally just animating it so we get that animation goes like this and you can see this is quite lightweight and it's going to be quite easy to handle uh, after that uh, a pro tip pro tip number two is all of the yellow nodes are just animation what you can do is you can create a point you have a point you trail it and that point is going to travel now and here we can just say in a volume wrangle collision vel equals point from the first input and we're going to fetch the velocity coming from here that will give us a let me see a velocity volume that looks like this so everything is going to be moving down and what that will allow us is that we retain the speed Otherwise, we would have to calculate the velocity here where we are. So actually, we would have to transfer without doing the VDBs. Now here, we would need to add a trail or a point stop, point velocity stop, right? Calculate our velocities from here. And they're going to be pretty much the same velocities because this is falling down at a consistent speed. And then we would do our, our um, collision bell here which would mean that this would have to calculate each frame and just you would have to then cache this so instead um, we do it before so here and then we can move the VDB we don't have to re-initialize this VDB because it's at this point is not time dependent and then here it becomes time dependent and this is a much more optimized version of that. So you get collisions like this and collision, collision valve. On this left side, we have influence and influence pressure. If you recall at the lessons for collisions that I did uh, with the flippy, with the flip toy, uh, this is the exact same principle, having some pressure to push all of our collisions out so you can see how they are being pushed out, like so. Maybe this is a better example. So you can see that it's colliding, but the, the collider is also pushing out the smoke. So you get even more accurate and better collisions. All right, so that's pretty much it that I wanna cover in this one. Everything else is quite simple, I just copy uh, a few emitters on the on the geometry they look like this just I'm literally just using the pyro burst source copying some of them and then simulating the simulation itself is quite fast I think it took like six or seven minutes for this which is quite a large scale simulation with a lot of voxels so I was quite happy with that uh, I am using two sub steps. You can also go to one 
and let me just show you how fast it is. So it's going to be quite quick to go through the simulation. And this is something that would take a long time. But if you take if you take the time to optimize your colliders and emitters, then it's going to be a bit faster. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show was another way of doing velocities. So this is one way. Oops, where is it? So this is one way. And this will give you a linear like uh, vector velocity just going in the direction that our Star Destroyer is falling down. What you can do is you can use this VDB project on the divergent to get some more interesting velocities that are wrapping, that are kind of wrapping around your collision like so. Um, and for that, you need to, you do need to, we do need that velocity in this case. Well, I guess we could just copy it from this point again. And then we do a VDB from polygons, creating an influence and influence veil field. On this side, we do uh, a collision field. And then in the VDB project non-divergent, we're using our influence veil as the group and collider is set to collision. And that will give you these velocities, which are quite cool. So just something to think about. Try playing around with this and see if you can uh, maybe just use it on, you know, uh, the flippy toy or just some simple geometry to see what type of uh, velocities you will get. But yeah, you can definitely use this as your collision bell. Or in this case, uh, influence. Uh, well, so you can use that to push your velocities even more. All right, that's it.